Hello, this is Howard Tisa King coming to you with the NFL playoffs for this week. Um, nothing really stands out like it's been like the last couple of weeks with all my locks where I just just knew they were going to win. This is a very uh, different week. Um, you know, I don't really love any game. I, I like them, but nothing really stands out. Uh, let's look at Philly and New Orleans. Um, I kind of like New Orleans here. I know they've had trouble on the road at the Jets, losing to St. Louis. But I think there's more to it than that. I think it's just the Jets and St. Louis are good against passing teams. They're good uh, defenses against that. The Jets beat Brady. St. Louis gave Seattle all they wanted at home. Um, so I think it's a lot more of a matchup than the fact they weren't in New Orleans. But I look at Philly. They're, they're not a good home favorite. They're getting better. But when they really needed the game against Dallas, I was really surprised they couldn't move. Uh, they had matchup problems with DeMarcus Ware. Their defense was, was okay against Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton, I mean, seriously. Um, I, I like New Orleans in the points. I, I think when the game's on the line, it's a playoff game. Um, like against Carolina, they were winning until the end of the game. Carolina at Carolina pulls it out at the end. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's all matchups. But if they can move on Carolina, I don't see them getting blown out by a Philadelphia team. And Philly will run. But I think New Orleans, their defense hasn't been bad. It's been turnovers by Breeze. He's been throwing a lot of interceptions when they're on the road. And I just got a feeling in this big game here, uh, I, I like New Orleans to stay close, if not win the game. It wouldn't surprise me if they won it. Uh, Philly is not Seattle. I mean, they're not San Francisco. They're not an elite team. They're an average team. They were bad. They got better with Nick Foles. But, I mean, when they really needed the game at Dallas, uh, I was not impressed. At Minnesota, they got killed. So when they play better defensive teams, they don't do anything. Yeah, they blew out Chicago. And that's just a matchup thing. Chicago had a terrible defense, but I don't think New Orleans' defense is that bad. I see a close game, uh, you know, somewhere about 30 to 27, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, but, you know, New Orleans is not a good road team, but as a road dog and you're getting eight and a half in a playoff game with Drew Brees, I know it's going to be 35-ish, but that's not that cold. Uh, he shouldn't have much problem with that. I, I just think that, um, you know, they're, they're just the better team, I think, is New Orleans. They did win more games, and I just like Philadelphia, or I like just like New Orleans in this game. I think getting eight and a half points, um, I think you got the better team with points here, uh, really. Um, the other game I like is uh, Frisco going to Green Bay, laying two and a half. Now this this game is really like I'm doing all I can to figure this one out, but then you got to figure 30 mile an hour below zero, or 30 30 degrees below zero with you know I don't know how the winds will be, and in this type of game it's it's matchups. I think you got to play the defense in the running game, and I think you take San Francisco. I think they're probably more than two and a half point better than Green Bay. They went into Arizona and won. You know, the cold weather will bother them, but you have a matchup problem for Green Bay. Frisco has beaten them the last three times, if not more. I mean, that's what I saw as the last three, and that's all that matters. They pounded them in the playoffs last year. Nothing's really changed, and then they beat them the first week this year with Rodgers and everybody. Um, I just think Frisco's a much better team. they got much better defense. Clay Matthews is out, and uh, this isn't the Bears they're playing. So, and even there, they're down one late in the game against the Bears. Well, I just, you know, again, I don't love the 49ers, but getting two and a half, you get three and a half over a field goal. I honestly, I really don't see the 49ers losing this game. I think they're too good of a team to lose this first round and 
uh, you know, Green Bay lost to the Giants at home in the playoff game, and um, in my mind, they're just the better team again is, is the 49ers. The playoffs are a little different. They're just, you know, I think it's more about don't make the turnovers and play defense. If you can run the ball and play defense in a playoff game, you're going to win more. And without Clay Matthews, I, I just think that's where it's going to, they're really going to hurt them, uh, miss them this year. Uh, and one other game, uh, we'll go to Cincinnati, laying seven to San Diego. Uh, now, Cincinnati beat them by seven at San Diego. San Diego, a lot of turnovers. And Cincinnati beat them by seven last year. Um, I really like San Diego in 13. Uh, I've said this countless times. First of all, San Diego is, is a great road underdog. And, you know, they went into Denver and won, and they lost to Denver by seven. And they should have lost last week, but they didn't. Okay, to the city. Excuse me. So tired. Um, they really should have lost Kansas City twice. The penalty on the field goal, and the guy rips the ball out of the guy's hands. So... But you, you got him as a dog getting 13. Like I say, as long as Philip Rivers is there, and I like uh, Allen, the receiver, the rookie, and, and Woodhead, and, uh, and the tight ends, uh, Antonio Gates, and they can run. Good luck. I mean, you know, hopefully he limits the turnovers. But anytime you got a team like San Diego with their offense, and you get 13 points, um, again, Cincinnati is good. They lost that pit when they needed to win. I just find Rivers is a much better quarterback. The defense is equal. I like, you know, they did beat Denver at Denver. And you've got to give them credit for that. So they will not be afraid to go into Cincy. Again, in these playoff games, if you can't really spot the winner, and it's Cincinnati, and, you know, look at it. Okay, Cincinnati minus one. Do you think they'll win? And, uh,. You know, I thought Denver would beat them at home. So, um, I don't think that's a sure Cincinnati's going to win. So, therefore, it's an even game. I like the dog there, get the 13. I think it's a lot of points to give San Diego in a playoff game. I, I won't be surprised if Cincinnati wins, but it's a playoff game. Maybe you get blowouts. I don't know. Cincinnati has gone. Their, their trends have changed. They They used to be a terrible home favorite. They used to be a terrible favorite, but this year they're winning and winning big at home. And you can't bet against them at home like you used to. Otherwise, this would be a lock. I'd take San Diego, but I don't lock you know, against Cincinnati here. But, uh, again, this is a close game. I, I like the points with the Phillip Rivers. I don't love it. Uh, none of these games. They're, all these games seem to be pretty equal, except for Frisco is much better than Green Bay. And I would also say New Orleans is a better team. Uh, San Diego, Cincinnati, it's probably Cincinnati's a little bit better, but not a lot better. And uh, and the last game's Indy KC. You know, Indy's laying one. Um, you know, I don't look at the last game, 23-6. I do think that was something, but I, I just look at Indy just simply being... They're at home, and if you lay one, you get five with Indy. I think's the way to go here. If there's any home team that I like that I think will win is Indy. Um, that I could say, yeah, they're going to win. I, I don't know, but I, you get five points with it. Um, I, I would take KC if they're getting like nine or ten, over ten, but only laying one almost seems too cheap. Uh, Kansas City, again, didn't really beat anybody. Lost them both to Denver. Lost them both to San Diego. For them to rest players is a joke. Although, I must applaud Chase Daniel. He did what I thought he'd do. Same as Kellen Moore will do when he gets his chance. I'm surprised the Lions didn't play him against Minnesota. Showcase him, and uh, they can trade Stafford and start, uh, start Kellen Moore like they should. Uh, so that's really the picks. I mean... Um, mostly New Orleans and Frisco and then San Diego. That, that's the key ones to put. Um, again, we're just waiting on Florida State. Uh, now, let's talk about that Oklahoma-Alabama game. Oklahoma 
16 point dogs wins the game straight out and you're going well yeah Auburn can do that too well I think the difference is first of all it's for the national title and Florida State's much the better team and, it's, and yeah Alabama um, Auburn got lucky beating Georgia uh, they got lucky uh, with Texas A&M they lost to LSU and they got lucky with Alabama and um, I like Auburn I mean they're a good team they got a good running offense, but if you've seen Florida State's defense, and this is the key to it. Now Alabama, oh yeah, they got a great defense. They would have if the other quarterback, Blake Bell, quartered for Oklahoma. They had have gotten killed. This guy's more of a scrambler, more of a passer, and that bothers Alabama. With that said, I don't know what bothers Florida State because I've seen them blow out Clemson, who had Ty Boy, one of the top three or four quarterbacks against the top three or four offense in the country, Clemson, and they just shut them down. I've seen them against Miami's running attack, and they just shut down Tank Johnson when he was playing. Florida, of course, had nothing, but they still scored 37 on Florida's defense, which is still SEC. They killed Duke, and then Duke goes and puts 48 on, uh, on Texas A&M, and they made them 51-7, to or 45-7. to So I'm looking at Florida, so, okay, can this happen? And... I think the only way it can happen is if they just throw, you know, Florida State just throws four or five pick sixes, which I just can't imagine that's going to happen. I think this quarterback's Winston's cool and calm under pressure. He makes good reads. They'll throw the interception here and there. But I don't think Auburn's going to put pressure on them. I don't think Auburn's defense is just terrible. I mean, they gave up 41 to Missouri. Yeah, they scored 52 and they got 600 yards rushing. But they're not going to do that on Florida's speed defense. And that's really the key to it. So when I, you know, when you look, well, can Auburn do what Oklahoma did? Uh, Oklahoma found Alabama's weakness and was able to take advantage of it. Uh, I don't see where Auburn can do it. All Auburn can really do is run. They can do some play action. They probably will, but Florida State's speed is something they haven't seen. Alabama doesn't have the speed on defense. Um, A&M had no defense. LSU had a decent defense. And they, they beat them 35-21. LSU beat Auburn. Georgia had a weak defense. And they, um, you know, that game was in the 30s. I don't see how Florida State will score less than 50. Even if they're a little nervous, they're just so explosive. And I just can't see Auburn staying with them. And this isn't Missouri. This isn't Missouri's defense. This isn't Missouri's offense. Um, and Missouri was okay, but they weren't that great. They, they beat Georgia, but Florida was weak. And they lost to the old ball coach, which, you know, the old ball coach was okay, but, you know, Florida State would beat the old ball coach. I mean, that would be a problem. A guy like Clowney who could really wreak havoc, I would say, could hurt Florida State. A team like Michigan State, I think, could beat Florida State with that stifling defense. But I don't see Auburn. The, the problem is Auburn, I don't see how they're going to stop them. Anybody could say, well, that fourth and one play against them. Yeah, but... First of all, Florida State's running back is much better than Alabama's running back. And with all the weapons on offense and a running quarterback, it's not the same type of team that Alabama is. So it's not, you can't say that. And now with Alabama getting killed, does Auburn beating Alabama really look as good? I mean, this isn't the Alabama team of the last two years that went undefeated, that had great players and a great defense. And they look better when they beat Michigan and Notre Dame, who didn't have much of an offense. So Alabama really looks strong, but Alabama was not that strong this year. And um, I, I just like uh, I just like uh, you know, Florida State here. I just don't see the upset. I don't think Auburn's defense is strong enough to do it. Oklahoma has some players, you know that, and they didn't really stop Alabama, but it was just simply a case of uh, it was just simply a case of that. Anyway, so in the pros, it's, it's mostly dogs. Um, that's all you can really say. It's just you have uh, just mismatches. You know, play Frisco, they got the better defense. San Diego and Cincinnati's even. You get 13. And I think New Orleans is better than Philly, and I think they're making too much out of this road thing. And KC Indy's probably, uh, you know, Indy at home with the five. Uh, Andrew Luck's been very good at coming back. I don't see them getting blown out at home, and if anything, I see them 
blowing out Kansas City. Andy Reid's famous for losing big games. Hasn't really won a big game, so that's the picks for this week. Anyway, have a great weekend, and uh, uh, good luck, everybody. Right, again, go www.teacherking.com. Have a great week.